How are you? You look like you're doing poorly and we're worried about you. We worried you're drinking because your head looks like it's being preserved in a jar by a mad scientist. If you guys couldn't tell, Brandon is going through a kind of a messy divorce. Uh, I guess marriage isn't so easy a caveman can do it. Look, you look like <laughs> Eric's, Eric's transitioning right now, but I can't tell which way. <laughs> He's a mama's boy, but a daddy's girl. I'm transitioning to or from your outfit right now. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. You need to be a stay-at-home comedian. Uh, I'll say this. He's from, you're also Southern, but you look like you do HR for the Klan. <laughs> you know how hard it is doing HR work for you guys? It's a nightmare. Especially when you keep painting flowers on your robes. It's a just, we don't have the budget. Uh, Brandon is... All right, Rick Moranis. <laughs> All right, American History XL. Jesus Christ. He looks like he'd, uh, he looks like he's about to make a documentary about uh, what it's like to be a black person in America. <laughs> but then uh, d dumped it because he found out he had to talk to black people. <laughs> you look like you're about to drop your beer, shaky hands. You okay? I know, I know. It's his first one of the night. Don't worry, he evens out. <laughs> I went from the Chicago Theater, whatever the fuck this is. He actually was at the Chicago Theater. His first time under bright lights since cops asked, how much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> One time in band camp, Eric stuck a flute in his pussy. <laughs> I bet, you I bet you lost your virginity accidentally. <laughs> That's what I call it when you rape me, so yes. At least someone will fuck you. <laughs> Eric's girlfriend, uh, Eric, Eric gives his girlfriend rides to her boyfriend's house. <laughs> and then he makes her a nice meal from his cookbook. <laughs> I'd rather be the guy driving than the guy filming, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Your favorite sexual position is holding your girlfriend's purse while she blows a man. <laughs> My favorite sexual position is holding your hair from behind. Those jeans didn't come like that. I made them. I made them, goddammit. I'll go ahead. I'll <laughs> yeah. say this. Uh, I, think, uh, I think Brandon is what gardeners would look like if Hitler won. You wouldn't be up here if Hitler won, all right? I'll say... <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that meant, all right? Can we edit that one out, please? Eric and his girlfriend actually broke up because uh, he works nights and she's in high school. <laughs> hey, guys, be gentle. Divorce is very tough, and Brandon's really taking it on what I think was once a chin. Uh, Look, I might be getting divorced, but your girlfriend can't even legally get married yet. <laughs> it saved me a lot of money. His ex-wife is German, and the divorce is holocausting him everything. Wow. Right now, he's got an open mic you're trying to divide up 220 bucks in a pack of Millers. <laughs> wow, that one hurts. He's actually bisexual, I assume. Um, he said he doesn't care if it's a girl or a guy, as long as they're white. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, like a lot of you guys, I used to think that the uh, big ugly gap in Brandon's front teeth was because his white trash family couldn't afford dental. Uh, it's actually court mandated because the lisp stops him from hitting a hard R. <laughs> My teeth touch more than you and your girlfriend do. <laughs> Where are we at on all this? I think we did like 30 <laughs> jokes. <laughs> was I supposed to be counting that? <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, know. here we go. I got a good one. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so battle. Right, there we go. Uh, like I said, Brandon's ex-wife is German, and when they split, he actually had to leave the uh, place that they lived in and moved into a shitty flop house with a bunch of failed comedians. Uh, yeah, who can imagine a German forcing a man from his home to bunk with Jews, communists, and retards? <laughs> Eric's got the kind of white privilege that black people don't get angry at. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. 
I thought I had COVID earlier. I don't. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Hey, shortly after Brandon moved into his shitty new place, a big chunk of it caught on fire and burned down. <laughs> don't worry. I heard after Neanderthal's master fire, you get agriculture, and then it's on to sex with human women. So that's going to be good. Oh, man. At least my human women are 18, all right? <laughs> You literally were dating a 22-year-old girl. The craziest part about it is that it, it was a girl. <laughs> I, uh, I, I will say the saddest thing, I think, the greatest tragedy of Brandon's divorce is that now he'll never know what it feels like to be a father for two years than die of liver failure. <laughs> well, at least he ended on a strong one. All right. <laughs> Last well, one, you got one? We got one more, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you have any more? I remember that time you called uh, the police on a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> we made a deal that if one of us bombed at the end, the other would bomb too. Yeah, yeah. So he was there. Oh, we give it up for them, everybody. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. Oh my god. Wow. That was No, seriously, keep it going for that. What a fucking awesome man. God damn. Man. The last three jokes don't count. Mo good. I want I want your thoughts for, for what the fuck just happened over here. This was a good ass battle right here. <laughs> this was the headline battle. Y'all funny as fuck. Um, I think Eric had the better jokes overall. I think you had the best, best comebacks. And <clears throat> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, this tough. No, for real. Me two seconds. Kevin Kellen, what do you think about what's going on? <laughs> nah, don't just skip black people. Y'all done that enough. <laughs> Fuck all that. This is what Chicago does, Mo. <laughs> Not for real. I'm going to go Eric on this one. I'm going to go Eric. Eric gets a vote. God, this is a tough one. I don't know who I choose. Kevin. Oh, my God. Wasn't it something else? Jesus Christ, this is awesome. I love this battle between uh, Daisy David Dukes over here on the left <laughs> and uh, Casual Fridays from HR department <laughs> on the left. Uh, this was really good. I thought Eric just had uh, just a little bit more. I love Brandon. Uh, just, he could come in and just read out of a phone book and sound funny, but Eric just had just a little bit more. I'm going to go with Eric. Okay, two for Eric. Two for Eric. Matthew Mitchell. This is a tough call, especially since I know how hard Brandon's taking the divorce, so I don't want to. <laughs> it was rough. She got the bottom half of the jeans. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, battle, 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 battle. God damn it, it hurts because it's true. I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> also, I feel like this is, it's a tough call because it was fucking fantastic, but I think where Brandon might have went wrong is that your insults were, Eric, you look smart and your girlfriend is young and hot. <laughs> <laughs> so just based on that, I think Eric hit a little bit harder. I gotta go with Eric on this. Yeah. Eric Anderson wins the battle. Give it up for Eric.